Hey everybody, it is good to see you. Mice, how to deal with them, ugh. And why you need to tenant, do your tenant screening because it can come back to bite you, especially when you are running for public office. Yeah, all that today on the Landlord Coach Daily Is Show. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, welcome to the Landlord Coach Daily Is Show. It is good to see you. So today we're going to be talking about mice and if you don't do your tenant screening properly, how it can come back to bite you, especially if you're running for public office. So we will talk about that today. I uh, hope uh, you are all doing well. So this is the type of year, the time of year rather, um, especially up here in the northern parts where it starts to get a little chilly. And I hear people in Oklahoma talk about how, you know, chilly it gets down there. Like, come on, man. <laughs> it's like, what, it might dip down into the 50s at night? Come on, seriously. But um, I get it. It's all relative. But, uh, but yeah, we're talking about mice. And uh, this is the time of year when they come in just like any other creature. They want food, water, shelter. And when you're dealing with mice, a lot of times it really doesn't have anything to do with how clean you keep your house. I mean, I know that seems to be a, a thing like, you know, well, we keep a clean house. We shouldn't be attracting mice. Well, that really doesn't, that really doesn't apply. I mean, if you are keeping a, uh, if, if your residents especially are not keeping a clean house and it's giving them a food source, then they're just going to multiply that much more rapidly. But, um... So I'm going to go into a little bit of a little bit of biology here about mice, which is actually uh, as gross as it is fascinating. Um, I'm I'm going to tell you right now one is too many. If chances are, if you're seeing a, if you see mice or you see what they call mice dirt, which let's, it's mice crap. Like I don't know why they call it dirt. It's mice crap, little tiny little pieces of poop. What you'll find a lot of times you're going to see it in areas like inside your the the drawers, underneath the sinks. Um, if you have a, an electric stove or a stove where the, where the top pulls up, you'll see all sorts of mice crap in there. That's pretty much a dead giveaway. And I had a, a stove that I actually had to get rid of because it was so infested with mice and mice crap and pee and all that. It was just nasty. So we just got rid of the stove. <clears throat> but the really interesting thing about this is that mice can breed incredibly and insanely fast. And that's why you, if your resident is calling you and saying, hey, we've got mice, it's really important that you get on this pretty quickly. And this is also important that, you know, you got to recognize this isn't always their fault. So this is one of those things where you have to stop and say, well, you know, well, you, you know, we rented the place to you and it didn't have mice. Well, it's not like they're generally the Pied Piper bringing them in, at least I hope not. Or, or attracting them. It, now, if they do have, like, or they're keeping it unkept inside their house, you know, and it's kind of a, you know, kind of a disaster, that's obviously not helping the situation. But generally, not having a clean house is not going to attract them. They're going to come in, especially this time of year when it starts to get cold, that sort of thing. So, um, this is, again, this is just what I'm saying. I'm not here as a mice, a mouse specialist. I'm here to just tell you how I've dealt with them in the past. And I will tell you, you have to get to them quickly because mice can breed as fast as 21 days. So from the time a mouse is old enough to start having babies and uh, that's as quick as five to six weeks old. So yeah, babies having babies, I get it. But no joke, if you are not on top of this, you can have a, and, and they breed all year round. So it's not like they they wait for a certain season. They'll just do it, you know, um, they kind of put rabbits to shame, but they will literally, they will breed all year long. So you have to get on top of that pretty quickly. So as early as five to six weeks old, a mouse can start breeding and they can breed and, and, and gestate as short as 21 days. Okay. And they give birth to litters as much as 12 pups. Okay, so you don't need to be a genius to do the math on that <laughs> and how quickly that can get out of control if you're not on top of that. So you could literally have hundreds of mice inside a house and you don't even necessarily, I mean, in, in a very short period of time, you're not even, you're not even aware of what's going on. 
So you gotta get on top of that pretty quickly. What I recommend, um, I don't recommend traps um, unless maybe you see a mouse here or there and that's and, and your resident is okay to deal with it. My recommendation is to call an exterminator where um, they will come and they will bring a commercial grade type bait and the bait generally is an anticoagulant where they will die inside the walls. It won't smell generally and um, and that's probably the best thing to go. I, I don't recommend getting a, a, a poison like decon where they will uh, eat a little bit of it. They don't eat enough to die, but they'll get sick of it. Then they, then they become bait shy. Then it becomes really, really hard for them to, uh, to get rid of them. Um, mice also, something I didn't know, and this is something an exterminator actually told me, is that mice don't see very well. That's why when they, when they, when they run or they're out in the middle of a of a house they'll run along a baseboard so they can keep a baseboard to their to their shoulder basically so they can keep a you know so they can figure out where they're, where they're at which i thought was pretty interesting um so if if that is the truth then uh that's why you generally see them running along baseboards and um you would want to put the you know the exterminator would know this but they would put the bait generally along a spot where where it would be along their along their route and they bump into it one day and they kind of say, hey, this is new. And then they go around it and then they bump into it the next day and they go, hey, I remember that from yesterday. And then the next time they come by into it, they'll bump into it again. So just understand that, and this is something that you would also need to educate your residents on, that getting rid of mice is a process. There's no magic wand, even if you sent the exterminator over there that morning they are not going to magically wave a wand and the and the the mice will be gone by that afternoon. It does not work that way. It is a process and it's important that you manage their expectations and just let them know right away, "Hey, look, if there's it, I'm not saying this isn't a problem, but just understand that we're going to get this taken care of right away, but you need to manage their expectations so you're not getting blown up in the middle of the night and saying, "We called you three times and this is and this is you know, you're not doing anything about it. It once the, the, the bait's been set, it takes time for that to for that to go away. So you can use a combination of traps and bait if you want. Um, understand that you know, you're gonna have to take care of the you know, you, someone will have to take take the traps out and you know, take the the dead mice out of the traps and reset them and that sort of thing. But again, just again, the biggest thing, just know what you're walking into and also it's helpful to manage the expectations on that. All right. I have got a new segment today called That's Methed Up. That's Methed Up. That's right. That's Methed Up. <laughs> so, uh, this is a new segment that, it, yeah, you've probably got the, 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 the concept of it as to what it's about. Generally, just stupid drugged up people doing stupid drugged up things this is actually not a drugged up person doing a drugged up you know stupid thing but uh it's one something that i just kind of made me scratch my head and and this is actually came out of north carolina a democratic state senate candidate named jd wooten now he is a state. He's running. He's a Democratic state senate candidate. He's not a Democratic state senator, but he is. He's an attorney. I think he's done. Um, I think he's an ambulance chaser, honestly. But whatever. He's a, some sort of attorney, and he had a couple of rental properties. Okay, or he has a couple of rental properties, to which he rented to a known drug felon, and that drug felon had in 2018 been arrested in possession of over a hundred pounds of marijuana. Like why, why are, okay. This is why you need to do tenant screening. This is why you need to have a process that runs you through tenant screening, whether you're doing the tenant screening or you have an assistant that's doing it or your manager is doing it or whoever is managing the properties for you. Again, doesn't necessarily need to be a property manager, but it needs to be somebody that's doing that for you because when you're going out doing stuff like, you know, you have aspirations of running for public office, this is the sort of stuff that will, that will derail you and just... It, it takes up too much bandwidth. 
Now, maybe maybe he knew about it and didn't care. Maybe he felt the guy needed a second chance. I don't know. But for dealing or distribution, anything within within three to five years, I don't know that that even remotely makes sense. Maybe he thought it did. I don't know. Maybe he knew about it and just felt that, that he's being unfairly portrayed in the press. But still, I just... Flat didn't make sense to me. And so, dude, that's messed up. All right. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And you have awesome weekend plans. If you got awesome weekend plans, I'd love to know about them. Put them, put them in the comments. But that's all I have for today. I will see you next week. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, if you don't place a value on your free time, someone else will. But most important, there is no amount of money that will make time irrelevant. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next week.